Hi, this is Miguel Murphy, and I'm here with uh, three wonderful faculty members here at the North Campus, and I will ask them to introduce themselves. Hi, I'm Sharon Plotkin, and I'm 21 years experience as a crime scene investigator here in Miami, and I have been very fortunate to be hired as a full-time faculty as of August 2014, and I teach here in the Criminal Justice Crime Scene Program. Yes, hi, I'm Selena Respis, and I teach in the School of Justice. I've been teaching for more than 25 years. I've been teaching at Miami-Dade College for 10 years, and I'm just like happy to be a part of this study abroad program. Hello, my name is Lourdes España. I teach in the mathematics department since 2001, and I'm also a former graduate of Miami-Dade College. Awesome, so share with us um, this wonderful study abroad uh, opportunity to England, and what can students expect? So for the very first time, Miami-Dade College has a collaborative event going on, a study abroad between the math program and the criminal justice program, where the two disciplines have come together to provide an amazing study abroad program for you. Well, we'll be comparing, using statistics, um, the, cr the criminal justice system of the United States with that of uh, e uh, England and um, we'll be looking at uh, re statistics of repeated offenders in the United States and that of England to see if there is a difference, uh, maybe because of programs for prisoners uh, might make a difference as well. Awesome. We'll be using um, measures of central tendency, uh, bar graphs, et cetera, to be able to do our comparison analysis. So specifically, which courses um, are uh, part of this program? Well, the courses are CCJ 1020, which is Introduction to Criminal Justice, and MGF 1106, Liberal Arts Mathematics 1. Nice. So this is going to happen in 2019. And what is the timeline? Which semester specifically do students need to enroll in um, to be able to participate? Are you asking me that question, sir? Yes. Yes? All right. Well, um, students should begin showing interest in being a part of this program as soon as possible. There is no um, first come, first serve. I mean, we, don't, we just feel as though if students are interested in coming, that they should contact any four of us so they can get further information about what they need to do to prepare for the trip. But Summer A is when we will be going. So the dates are May 31st through June 8th. And as Professor Respas said, the important thing here is that we get student interest early on because some of the things that we'll be addressing is how you all can go with us. Nice. And so just to chime in in terms of, um, you know, connecting with uh, your faculty advisors and um, your academic advisors, we're available in Building 1. You can reach out to me. We have Mr. George Fabry as well in a, an advisement. We have our math advisors over in Building uh, 7 who are friendly and willing to assist, and also our criminal justice advisors here uh, in Building 9. But in terms of funding, uh, share with us, you know, how can students go about coordinating, right, this dream of um, uh, getting engaged and going abroad with you all? Well, once you show interest, uh, we'll also be referring you to the International Education uh, Department of Miami-Dade College, where they will uh, tell you about resources where you can get funding. Uh, financial aid will, could be one source. Uh, also, we'll be doing fundraising opportunities, as also looking into corporate donations as well. Professor Respas, uh, and if you know a student who may be apprehensive about this, what would you advise them uh, in terms of you know taking that step toward? What I, what I would say to them is, I would say that this is a once in a lifetime opportunity for them, and if they understand the mission and the, and the goals and objectives of Miami Dade College, we want our students to fit well in a global community, and we understand that you know it might be trying in regards to raising funding but where there's a will and a way. And we believe that our students need to look at the world as their classroom. Okay, Professor Plotkin and then 
professors. So we want us all to get out there, as Professor Respas said, and um, engage in other um, environments, other communities, other countries, and other cultures. So this may be an opportunity that you may never have thought you would be embarking on, and Miami-Dade College is providing the platform and the foundation in which we can do this. We have some wonderful planned uh, trips that we will be taking while we're there. Our itinerary includes visiting the justice systems, uh, houses of parliament. Um, there's a lot of different things where you're going to be actually seeing the justice system sort of exactly like Scotland Yard as well. Um, and then we're going to be visiting. Um, and the, we're going to be visiting the world's first uh, university statistics department as well. And another thing I wanted to say was that, you know, students are always scared of mathematics, but a good way of facing uh, your tremors about mathematics is seeing how it is applied in the real world, especially if you're going to go into criminal justice or any other career, um, you can see how it, math and that career are related. Many students, after they participate in a study abroad program, are either more enthusiastic about the career choice that they made or actually change, you know, their career path, which might be, make them even more happy in life. And we have this wonderful partnership with the University of Derby in England, where students will be staying on their campus at their university, and they will be providing faculty, so you all will have an opportunity to network and to socialize and interact with students that are attending that university, as well as the fact that there'll be tour guides for us while we are in England. Nice. So thank you for sharing this wonderful information. And as we uh, end, I want you to um, provide our audience and students with your contact information. Uh, for um, And I'll start with myself, mmurphy3 at mdc.edu. And my uh, office line is 305-237-8371. And I'll go down the line to okay. allow our colleagues to share as well. So mine is L Espana, L-E-S. P A N A at mdc.edu, and my my number is 305-237-8144. And mine is srespis at mdc.edu. That's S R E S P A S S, and my phone number is 305-237-1530. And I'm Sharon Plotkin, it's S-P-L-O-T-K-I-N at mdc.edu at 305-237-8260. And come with us to England. <laughs> and thank you for joining. And I hope all of you can take advantage of this wonderful opportunity. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you.